In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you over the route planner, how to read the route planner and understand it, um, how to how to find out order details, how to plan ahead, how to lock routes once they're ready uh, for delivery, uh, pick pack and loads, um, how to optimize routes, and a few other things as well. Okay, so in front of us we have the route planner here. As you can see, there's quite a lot going on this on the screen, so I'll break it down uh, bit by bit. Uh, you can see up here. We have the options to filter routes. So if there's only, if you only have a limited number of drivers or a limited number of routes and stops that you need to do for that day, you can simply use this cancellation feature and say you only wanted to look at these routes here, just the four. You could just cancel the rest and have this have this page simplified here so you can plan routes as such. Next, we have the option to show all the routes on the map and then optimize across routes, which is a feature I'll show you in just a second. Similar to the route monitor, we have all the indicators, such as the driver there. So you can see the name of the driver, the vehicle, uh, the order count, see how many orders. So here you can see we have five and here we just have the one. Uh, you can see how many have been picked and packed and you can also see the package count there as well. One of the coolest things about the route planner is that it has a drag and drop functionality. So you can simply just manually uh, schedule routes like this. And along the side, you also have all these unscheduled deliveries that are not yet part of uh, the route plan. So if you wanted to, if you, if you had this customer and they needed the delivery for today, you could simply just drop it in there. Let's get a few more routes up. If you look up here, today we're looking at uh, the Sunday 22nd, 26th of July. If you clicked on here, you'll notice that these, these next seven days are available and the rest aren't. This means you can actually plan a week, uh, a week in advance, so you can choose any particular day. Simply click pan and it would load up uh, the route data uh, for the, uh, the plan, the planned routes that you already had uh, for that particular day there. Another feature is that you have this click to lock route button here. So if you if you take this uh, this route for example, it's got six stops already. If you were to click this, it would lock the route. So once you're done planning and you've done and you've uh, finished everything and it's ready to go off into the van for the day, uh, you cl simply click that lock button there and then you can't make any more changes to it you can't add any and you can't take any away and similarly if you use the system to optimize routes uh, this route will uh, stay firm and no changes will be made to it automatically by the system so there are a few more indicators that I'd like to go over if you see here there's a vehicle icon which firstly tells you the, the vehicle type and the max weight and the max package count for that particular vehicle and that the icon itself also indicates that this is a van cell stop whereas if you look at this one here you can see an order id and no uh, van icon that indicates that it's a wholesale delivery there this is just makes it easier for planning so you can uh, plan accordingly dependent on the these the uh the delivery types if you click on any one of them it will tell you the state at which that particular order is in it will tell you the usual information such as the products on the order uh, the route that it's on and when it's scheduled for so if you click on this one for example you'll see that this order has simply just been created if we go back there are a few customizable features that you can uh, as a company you can enforce yourself so if I take you down under company management under company let's confirm these changes and under settings, if you scroll down here, you'll see that there's a few buttons specifically for the route planner. So this one, the enable pick, pack and load button on the route planner, once confirmed, this button enables you to uh, choose deliveries and you can automatically uh, take them through the pick, pack and loading stages that you saw up here. So they would go, once the order is created, they would bypass all of these and they would just get it past it quicker and ready for delivery based purely on um, that particular order so you can uh, so you can speed up the process really underneath that 
you have the enable lock and unlock ability uh, which i showed you before so once you're done completing your route and it's ready uh, you can simply choose to lock it and you won't be able to make any more changes to that route similarly if you unclick it um, you will be completely flexible and you'll be able to make uh, changes up until the point of uh, of delivery down here we have the enable optimized allocation so this is the route optimization feature, which is uh, uses our Google integrations to um, optimize routes based on features such as um, delivery windows, uh, traffic congestion, and things like that. So we'll just click save there. I'll take you back into the route planner. Okay, so if you look up here, there's a settings icon and if you click on this this is where you can customize the route planner ready for optimization so here you can choose the default service time you can choose uh, any if there's any service time override you can choose the vehicle types break it down by by that and here you can choose the max stops so say you want every deliver every route to only have four stops this is where you'd enforce that you can choose max distances and max driving times as well Underneath here, you also have options to uh, uh, take actions such as minimize the routes used. So they'll be spread across a uh, uh, higher number of routes. Or similarly, if you look here, there's a, to, you can choose to minimize the maximum completion time of all routes uh, to sync up all the deliveries so the day is finished. Um, similarly, across all the routes for all drivers. You can also choose to minimize the maximum number of stops allocated to any route and you can balance the completion time and, and stops amongst all routes as well. i show you some of the changeable features for any particular company. So if you go back into a route planner, I've chosen this one for example, you can see there's a few different colors for routes and also if you look here, you can see the stop types are also indicated by the color as well, which I'll show you in just a second. So you've got blue, gray and orange. So if you go under order management and you go under routes and you go under routes, firstly, this is where you would create and add any routes uh, and ascribe them to particular drivers. You would choose the route types. You can see we've got a high traffic route, a restaurant delivery, uh, a route specific for restaurant deliveries, um, routes which have no traffic restrictions and such. And also you can define where the branch is from, uh, the vehicle used and the warehouse as well. So I'll just show you. So simply here, you put the name of the route, you describe it, you put the route starting and ending time, uh, the average service time in minutes, uh, the warehouse that that route is associated with and the home branch and also the type of delivery here. So you can choose from a varying number, whether it's a holding route, uh, whether it's a quick route, a short route and so on. If you go underneath here into route types, this is where you would define and color coordinate your route types. So you can see it here, yellow, as we saw on the route planner, indicates uh, a route with no traffic restrictions. Similarly, blue uh, is a holding stop and green there, as you can see, is a short, is a short route. If you go under stop types, here again, this is where you saw the color indicators on a particular delivery. So you can see that blue indicates that it's time sensitive. Uh, yellow indicates uh, there's a test for stop types and uh, uh, orange indicates uh, for this particular company that it's actually a VIP customer that the, that the, the delivery is for. This is just so you can plan and you can, um, you can look over the route planner and at a glimpse you can see which stop types you have, which ones to prioritize and so on. So if we're looking at the vehicle type, if you hover over the vehicle icon here, you can see for this route, it's a light commercial vehicle, max weight is 20, and the max package count is 15. The package count, as explained before, is indicated here. So say this route had uh, a, num a, a fair amount of stops and this package count ma uh, exceeded 15, it would actually highlight red to indicate to you that there's a problem and that you need to amend it. So if I show you for this for the example of this test route just here, if you hover over the vehicle icon, as explained before, it tells you the vehicle type. So it's a light commercial vehicle, the max weight of the vehicle, and the max package count as well. 
you can see here indicated by this package icon the number of packages on that particular vehicle and if it exceeds 15 it will highlight red to indicate you that there are changes that need to be made and that the vehicle is carrying um, too heavy a load similarly up here i show you these three icons so you can choose to pick pack and load as explained before so if you click on this gives you an indicator saying the orders have been picked, packed and combined into a load order, which bypasses all of those in one, in one simple click. So you can show uh, the stops on the map as well. There's also the option to optimize any route. If we look over here again on the vehicle, you can actually click there and you can change the vehicle type. So say you wanted to change it to the Volvo Tiny Truck, uh, just to suit uh, the delivery type and the stop types, you could do that there as well. We're back on the home page. I'll take you over to the, to the mobile app and show you how the driver can download the route for the day and view it and how easy it is. So if you go back quickly onto the route planner on the system, you can see, I'll show you the example of Route 7. We've got those five orders there, the route's locked and ready. Simply save that. Route plan updated successfully. Now if I just show you onto the handheld. So the driver just needs to simply log in, choose his route for the day. So if, as that example, I'll show you for route seven and simply just download the day's route. Okay, so now he's logged on. Driver needs to load the stocks, which are pre-populated with the items he needs. You can see any packaging. Simply just confirm that once, once the driver knows that it's on the van. Let me click on the service customers here. And you can see we've got those five routes up just there. Click on any one of them, say this one. Skip through these just to show you as the example. Need deposit items. Visit, side visit summary. Could you just take a photo of that? Driver that can then confirm, take his end of site survey to ensure everything's closed and all the security measures are met. Now you can see it's come up blue. So if we go back onto the route planner here. Okay, so it's updated and now you can see that that route has been removed from the plan because it's been delivered and completed okay so that's the route planner thank you